Hi guys, this is a Carolina Varsity. We're in our 2015 <laughs> season and we're in round three of the uh, 1A playoffs. And we've got number four, Thomas Jefferson Academy, going over to play number one, Community School with Davidson. I'm Dale Ross. I'm Anthony Perkins. And uh, Anthony, you want to start it out? Uh, well, both of these are Southern Piedmont uh, 1A teams. Uh, Community School with Davidson and Thomas Jefferson. Uh, mm -hmm. Community School Davidson comes in with 11 2 record. Thomas Jefferson comes in with a 10 2 record. Uh, they played one, lane, one game last in the regular season. Uh, they they have five common opponents. Uh, Community School Davidson went 5 0 against those opponents. Uh, Thomas Jefferson went 4 1. They did play head to head in regular season. So this And this is a regular season conference rematch. Right. Community School Davidson won that first game 26 14. And. Uh, The community school Davidson is averaging, now here's an unusual stat, it's upside down. Uh, they are averaging about 34 points per game on offense. Mm -hmm. uh, Thomas Jefferson averaging about 39. Uh, community school Davidson giving up about 14. Thomas mm -hmm. Jefferson giving up about 13. Uh, community school Davidson is averaging 182 yards on uh, their, their rushing attack compared to Thomas Jefferson's 211. Passing, uh, Community School Davidson is uh, rolling up 134 yards a game, and Thomas Jefferson is uh, getting 121 per game. Mm -hmm. uh, it averages out pretty close, 316 yard total yards for Community School Davidson, 330 yards, 33 yards, which is a little bit more for Thomas Jefferson. And you'd think, just looking at the numbers, that Thomas Jefferson would be the favorite school, but uh, right. but they did they did lose to Community School Davidson in the first round. Now, here's the bad thing about it. Second time around is always harder. Right, exactly. And 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 you know we're at the time of the year where, uh, and and the part in the playoffs where offense doesn't to me I, it seems like offense doesn't matter quite as much as defense, mm -hmm. uh, especially when teams are pretty close. Right. And it, it seems like the defense uh, is it will be what wins games for you. But but this will be a good close game. Yeah. The uh, so defense wins championships. You know they say. Uh, the report, first off, though, out says uh, Community School of Davidson over uh, Thomas Jefferson 26-25. So, obviously, very close game. As you mentioned, uh, they played earlier. Uh, and in that ball game, it was a 26-14. So, mm -hmm. it was a 12-point 12, uh, 12 game. Point and I kind of looked a little deeper at the game just to see, you know, what happened. And in that game, uh, Community School of Davidson threw for 325 yards mm -hmm. and two TDs. Uh, they rushed for 124 yards, so had a lot of offense in that right. ball game. And uh, Thomas Jefferson only threw for 123 yards and only rushed for 141. So uh, they were a little more opportunistic with their uh, yardage to scores, but they didn't get enough scoring, obviously. Uh, Community School of Davidson had a whole lot of offense, so you figure with that kind of offense, uh, 449 yards, there must have been some mistakes that happened in that ball right. game that kept them from scoring. Uh, Thomas Jefferson, uh, they, they beat the Union Academy last week, 31 nothing to get here. And just looking a, a little deeper, I wanted to take a little deeper look at the teams. Uh, Thomas uh, Jefferson, is, they run more than they throw, but they're kind of, they're, they're sort of a, a good balance. Uh, 1,462 yards passing, 200, uh, or 2,543 yards rushing. Uh, their quarterback, uh, Nick Mintz, he's, right. he's got a uh, QB rating of 108.8. Now, I thought, I thought as I looked at these games, that's kind of one important stat because if it gets tight and you, you rely upon your quarterback, what has your quarterback been doing for you? And so he's had a he's had a He's averaging season. 115 yards per game passing. So right. he's doing pretty good in that area. Exactly. That's, that's, pretty, good, that's pretty good numbers. Yeah, and 12, he's thrown for 12 TDs. Uh, they got two receivers, you guys, if anybody goes to the game. Number seven, Jalen Simmons. He's uh, seven TDs on the season, 487 yards. And uh, Max Robbins, number eight. Uh, he's got 498 yards and three TDs on the season. So they throw the ball a little bit, but uh, uh, they do score more and get more yardage on the ground. And two of their uh, guys... There, uh, Nick Mintz, again, your quarterback. So uh, having not seen them, uh, that's telling me that uh, obviously you got your dual uh, threat quarterback. He's at 832 yards uh, on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, and he scored 20 TDs. Yeah, so, he's averaging about, uh, say, 
about six, about seventy yards per game. Uh, you're talking about Nick, right? You're right, exactly. He averaged about seventy yards per game rushing. So, and that, those are pretty good numbers too. Now, I, 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 here I've got uh, their uh, their top rusher being Seth McGraw. Yes. Have you got, have you got nothing different, something different? No, that? I've got him. Okay, uh, right, about eighty yards per game. Yeah. Uh, Yes. Now the the stats I found was uh, one thirty one okay. for five thirty eight. Okay. So one hundred thirty one carries. Is that what you show there? No, no. I'm only showing eighty yards per game. Okay. But like I say, they could not they could not have had a couple games in there. So. So yeah, he's uh, he's their running back, or he, I wouldn't say running back because uh, he's wearing a number eighty. Yeah, that's so I'm odd. not sure. That, that's kind of <laughs> odd. Uh, again, unfortunately, not seeing this team and just kind of going down through stats, guys. Uh, you know, from what we're seeing, it looks like most of the offense goes through the quarterback, mm-hmm. either th- through his arm or through his legs. Um, uh, high uh, high bit of the offense. Community School of Davidson, uh, they are also kind of balanced. Mm-hmm. Uh, 1,700 yards passing versus 2,400 yards uh, rushing, approximate. Um, their quarterback, uh, Luke Watts, he's uh, got a QB rating of 104.9, which is a uh, pretty good. 20 TDs. He has done uh, 10 interceptions, 1749 yards to the air. So that's pretty, uh, pretty decent stats. His uh, two top receivers, uh, or two of his receivers, uh, number five, Holden Rizzo. Uh, he's uh, got 781 yards on the season. They've thrown to him 32, uh, 35 times mm-hmm. in uh, 12 TDs. And uh, Justice Woods, uh, thrown to him 45 times, 558 yards on the season. Uh, and it looked like their top running back, and he's got a big chunk of yards. Uh, uh, Joey Bernardi. Bernardini. Bernardini, right? Bernardini. Bernardini. Uh, 268 uh, carries for uh, 1,972 yards and 26 TDs. So a lot of that offense goes through him. Uh, the report says a close game. The last time they played, it was a close game. You know, a lot of times revenge is, you know, the factor that rematch, helps. Right. Yeah, you know, that rematch. And so does that help Thomas Jefferson come up? Just from looking at the past time that they played, there's a big disparity in offense. Right. And telling me that Community School of Davidson probably made some mistakes to keep some points off the board. Uh, so they clean those up. This game may not be... Uh, May not be it's, quite as close. It's yeah. close, exactly. I, I would, I, I'm, I'm saying that, that I, mean, I, I would say that they'd be probably eight, ten point favorites going into the game. Right. I, I, I agree with that. The uh, report saying 26 25, but I think it's going to be still probably a one score, maybe, but a little bit further from that. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks. So uh, we hope somebody out there watched it. Let us know so we can know if we're reaching you. Uh, thanks.